All right, we have another 49ers update for you. They have extended their special teams ace, George Odom. This news come, comes courtesy of Matt Barrows, my colleague at The Athletic. Odom had already been under contract for this upcoming 2024 season. It was going to be his third with the 49ers. However, his contract was set to expire after 2024. This is a two-year extension worth up to $10.8 million. It pays Odom in the upper rung of special teams players. And Odom led the entire NFL in special teams tackles in 2022, 21 of them. He was leading in that category again this past season until he tore his biceps muscle. So he probably would have had the back-to-back -back NFL special teams tackle title if not for that torn biceps muscle. And special teams, it's important to the 49ers that they get the ship turned around after a number 25 DVOA finish on special teams in 2023. There were some struggles in coverage, kick and punt coverage, especially after George Odom was unavailable. So they've got to solidify that part of the game. They obviously struggled there a lot in 2021. Then new special teams coordinator Brian Schneider came aboard in 2022. One of the big pieces of that 2022 team on special teams was George Odom. They finished number 15 in special teams that year. I think it was a key part of the Fort Anner's success that isn't talked about all too often. But then they slid back down in 2023. And again, part of that was George Odom getting hurt. So they want to make sure that special teams is at least in the middle of the pack, not only for this next season, but in years beyond that. That is going to be a key that not a lot of people talk about, but is important to the Fort Anner's success. And having the NFL's tackle leader under contract on special teams is important. Beyond that, the 49ers also need safety depth. We talk about the fact that Talano Hufanga is going to be coming back from a torn ACL this year. Jair Brown is going to be a second-year player, maybe a first-year starter. Well, you've got to have more at the position. Backstops just in case guys get hurt or just in case Talano Hufanga is slow coming back. I think that the 49ers are not done at the safety position right now. Rayshon Jenkins is set to visit them today. He's a 30-year-old who formerly played for Jacksonville. He also visited Seattle yesterday. So that might be an opportunity to spruce up the safety depth. But George Odom can play, I think, the safety position with an acceptable floor at a backup level. And that's why the 49ers have brought him back on top of the fact that he is one of the best special teams performers in the league. When you look at the contract, 10 years, 10.8 million, it is up to 10.8 million. That is not the actual expected value. There are going to be incentives here. We will see the contract at some point. The only financial news I have for you as far as specifics go is Fred Warner's restructure did indeed save the 49ers about $10 million in space for this 2024 season. They converted $15.3 million base salary to $1.125 million. So whatever that is, $14 million. The, the difference there turned into signing bonus. Prorated over a few seasons. They didn't add an extra void year to Warner's deal. You could normally add a void year to max out the proration, max out how many years you spread things out to five years. They didn't add the void year which I think is a recognition from the 49ers, an acknowledgement, if you will, that they're not going to keep guys forever. They've been adding max void years to a lot of these extensions or a lot of these restructures over the course of the past few seasons. But now the 49ers, I think there is a, a finite expectation for some of these career lengths. And Fred Warner, I mean, he's not old yet. He's not young anymore. He's right in the middle of his prime if you add too many void years to a lot of these restructures, ultimately you're going to have big dead money hits because the, if you add too many void years, guys inevitably will not end up playing through the entirety of those void years. You can't add enough extension years efficiently enough to, to match those void years. So you're going to have a lot of money accelerating and hitting the cap as dead money. I think in the Eric Armstead situation, that's something that the 49ers might be dealing with if they do release him because they have restructured his contract twice. They have added void years to it. 
some of that money is stretched out to, through 2027 now for Eric Armstead. But if you do end up cutting him, it accelerates and it has to hit the cap much sooner. You can only stave it off for uh, basically a few months onto next year's books if you use the post-June 1st designation. So anyway, the Warner restructure opened up money for this season for the 49ers. And they did it without adding a void year on top of what had already been added before. And you look at a contract for somebody like George Odom, it's two years up to $10.8 million. They've already added two void years for George Odom in the past. If you want to see what void years look like, I could show you George Odom's contract before this extension could be a good way to illustrate some of what's going on here for the 49ers. I, I don't know if they're going to add void years with this extension for George Odom. It's a much smaller deal than somebody like Warner's, but it still does show us some of the 49ers financial philosophy. So this was Odom pre extension. This is the original contract he signed with the 49ers. You can see they gave him a $2 million signing bonus in 2022. So that is, and they added two void years there. By rule, you stretch the signing bonus out over the length of the contract for cap purposes. So two million divided by five, you could stretch it out over a max of five years. Two million divided by five is four hundred thousand. Four hundred k of that signing bonus hits every single season. They added the two void years so that you could stretch the signing bonus out over twenty five in 2026. Theoretically, they could add more void years now in 2024 with this extension for George Odom. They could add 27, 28. They can add, you know, to make this a five-year thing all the way up to 2028 to stretch whatever signing bonus they've given George Odom with this extension further into the future. But they might hold off on doing that just so they don't push way too much money out in the future because again as soon as the contract is over whether it expires or you cut the guy all of that prorated money has to accelerate and hit the cap now so with warner they decided not to add another void year we'll see how they structure it with george odom so anyway that's a re-signing for the 49ers it's not a major splash but it is a spot of need that special teams unit did drop from number five to number from number 15 to number 25 this past season. So you've got to make sure that you're keeping good players in that unit to make sure that your punt return, your kick return units are all on point. And obviously the 49ers have obviously needed safety depth. George Odom, the NFL's special teams tackle leader in 2022. Back with the 49ers, that was already expected for 24, but now he is under contract for 2025 and 2026. An extension worth up to $10.8 million over two years for George Odom. There's your update. Everybody have a good lunch. We'll talk to you when the 49ers drop their next news.